Hey everyone, how you doing today? Thought I would take another look at the workshop and see what was out there and some really, really cool looking stuff today uh, by various uh, different authors. The very first one here is the uh, Warden for Reforged Eden by Dadrick. And uh, I've seen this before. This was also an Excalibur's uh, challenge. Um, but uh, it's uh, I noticed it's up on the uh, front page today and I thought it was a really, really slick looking ship. So I've seen this one once already. Uh, the rest of them I haven't, though, um, on the video. Just just this one. Um, but it is a uh, carrier-style ship, but a really cool design on it. It's got this big pass-through hangar. It's got uh, a lot of a lot of nice function in it. Um, really is. I love the layout. I love how you can kind of go in from one side to the other. And I also, on this design, too, I especially like the idea that it's using force fields instead of hangar doors. I think it just looks cosmetically better than it would have with hangar doors. I'm sure you could put in hangar doors. It looks like the uh, the size is appropriate for that, but I do uh, I especially like the uh, the force field look um, with something like this. You can fly in and out easily. You don't have to turn the ship around in the hangar to fly out the other way. It's convenient. It's uh, definitely nice for a carrier style ship this way. And the overall uh, aesthetics of this are really nice too. It's kind of dealing with a lot of uh, kind of big smooth shapes, a lot of uh, detail, a lot of breakups. Um, just nice looking design all the way around. Um, color uh, color selection is uh, very nice as well too. So you got some uh, different shades of gray, some darks, and then you got the blue, and then you got some whites in there. But it uh, it blends very well, fits into the uh, theme that uh, Dadrick's been uh, doing for a while, and it, uh, it's a nice looking theme, I like it, definitely. So beyond just having the uh, the big carrier section in this inside, you also got a pretty good sized landing pad on the back with, uh, looks like it has direct uh, bridge access, got a uh, long range radar on the side, some various weapon mount positions, um, especially like these side ones over here. That's a, that's a nice idea too, that double up the, uh, the turret way on the far edges there. Nice looking thruster housings. Yeah, very, very cool looking ship. Like the uh, like the stance here too of how this kind of swoops down a little bit. And you got some pretty meaty looking landing gear up in the front. And you got some more in back there it looks like as well. A bunch of turrets on the bottom side of this uh, ship as well. So it's uh, kind of, I don't know, more of a combat carrier um, slash does a lot of things actually. <laughs> So, uh, all 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 purpose combat carrier. I would probably classify this as and it's uh definitely definitely a sweet looking ship. So, I'd take a look at the different aspects and angles of it here. Very nicely done. Again, yeah, I just yeah, the layout I think is really really slick on this one. So, let's get in here. Now, with this video too, I've been uh, realizing that lighting has been pretty bad um, on planet side, um, especially at nighttime. Um, like if I go straight dark, it almost gets a little bit too dark. So I'm going to try to tone it up a little bit in this video and try to go for more of a dust scene, uh, so you can still see everything uh, clearly inside the ship. It's not the uh, any of the author's fault. It's just I think the uh, the ambient light, especially at nighttime on planets, is uh, just too dark. Uh, it's actually brighter in space. Um, so, anyway, check out this hangar. That's pretty nice. Everything's uh, laid out very nicely here, too. Uh, so, start with, we got a, a shield over in the, uh, the side over here. A couple uh, small constructors in this, uh, I don't know, area. Um, then, ob obviously, we got some uh, production going on over here. A couple uh, 320K storage bays, some advanced constructors. Um, and this I especially like too. This is uh, um, like a, one of the uh, two shield arrays over here. So it's six medium uh, size shields in here. Um, and I just I like how it's displayed a lot. That is cool. It's kind of inset in there. It's like half down. Nice looking block work along, around the edges there. Definitely like that. And. Uh, and we got our warp drive up on the top here with the Pentacta tank. And that, again, looks really nice, too. Just how these parts are embedded in here, I think, is uh, nice and stylish. They're all on display uh, with uh, housings made for them. Same thing going on with the generators over here with this uh, 
round uh, block structure there and then kind of some block work to kind of support this the thruster or I'm sorry the uh, the generator did I say thruster the generator on the other side that's cool that's cool and on this side we've got uh, looks like a utility bay another uh, storage bay over there too but uh, armor lock repair health and uh, oxygen yeah, nice layout. Just it's it's open, it's roomy. Um, definitely like it. And yeah, we got it. Looks like an ammo bay over there. Let's uh, let's head in this way here. So we've got uh, this is deck four we're on right now, which is hangar bay in production. Let's go over here. Looks like we've got a 18 row plot farm. Kind of uh, windows so you can kind of see the hangar as you're in here farming. Very nice. Food processor, a couple of fridges there. I'll have to go to the other side on the uh, bottom of the hangar too. I, I wouldn't doubt it's different than this side. So it looks like we're getting into a crew area here. A couple more um, storage controllers. Looks like 320Ks there as well. So either like a break room, mess hall uh, type of area here. Got a fridge, places to eat. Um, miscellaneous equipment here. Ah, yes. Looks like we got a, uh, a crew room over here. Nice... Uh, Nice window off the back side there. Our uh, toilet and shower in this section here. Very nice. And, oh, wow, look at this. This looks like a uh, briefing room or training room, mission uh, mission briefing room, something like that. That is really cool. Nice touch there. Let's see on this side. Looks like we've got a, another crew room over here. Oh, this one's different though so they're asymmetrically done so this has got a little different layout than the room on the other side and this is more for multiple people so this would be your, your like regular crew members and maybe on the other side over there is more for the captain or uh, whatnot I, I would assume a CPU block in here oh yeah and then we got a medical bay kind of uh, overlooking the hangar over on this side yeah, I did. I did see a lot of this before, but it was, just wasn't me that was going through it. Um, it was, uh, but I thought it was a really nice layout and design on this one. And it looks like we got a another way that goes up here. I'll have to go back to the hangar and check out the other side there too. And this gets us up to the bridge. Nice looking bridge area. I like all the uh, the accents and details. A lot of uh, a lot of work in texturing done on this too like uh, like that texture kind of popped in there and uh, all this different stuff going on I like the uh, deco display there in the middle symbol and uh, nice touch with the uh, the LCDs here for the uh, passenger seats that looks that looks really cool they're both different you got a control station and a uh, subspace control station that is that is really cool and then you of course your pilot seat right in the middle there captain seat and let's see out back. It looks like it goes straight out to the, uh, the a pretty good sized landing pad on the back here too. Definitely nice. Yeah, it's a slick looking ship, I gotta say. Um, like the uh, like the cockpit here too. Let me go. Uh, let me go back down to the hangar area. I am going the wrong way, and I that doesn't go down. Ah, man, there we are. There we are. So habitation, med bay, operations. Yes, makes sense. Looks like off to this side we got a CPU uh, core room and uh, a nice. Uh, I don't know exactly what the sign said. I believe which would be where to go. Yes, uh, operations room. I like the uh, the touch with the uh, the glass window on the uh, outer side there, kind of. That's that's neat. Imagine there's uh, something like this on the other side, but it might be uh, different. Um, a lot of these rooms are kind of asymmetrical from one side to the other, including even like a lot of the layout on the inside of the hangar. You're not seeing the same thing carrying across on both sides here, which is definitely a nice touch as well. So let's head this way. Uh, production aux core room. Ah, so this is our auxiliary core room over here. Looks like you could get a, quite a lot of uh, extra CPU blocks in here. I would say a good 12 in that room. 
Very cool. And it is uh, obviously different from the other side, which was uh, kind of actually went up a half a floor into a farm section. So very unique there as well. I'm trying to see if I missed anything else in here. And maybe I don't have the lighting quite dark enough, but here, let me, uh, just for a quick second, I just want to uh, go straight up dark. And yeah, this is kind of the effect I've been trying to avoid. Basically, it's so dark and there's so lack of ambient light right now on, on planet side at nighttime that you just can't see literally anything unless there's uh, light directly shining on it. Um, but it's still, it's lit. It's lit well. And you can't really do much of a better job of lighting it. It's just, I, I really think there needs to be uh, just some form of more ambient light. Um, especially planet side now the space had this problem but that has been kind of rectified now so maybe maybe uh, at some point we'll see uh, something to get tweaked a little bit with the uh, planet planet lighting too anyway really awesome ship I love it uh, I just think it's a, just a, a sweet design it's laid out really well it's got a lot of a lot of good function on it um, let's take a look at some specs here so we're starting out here. We got a size class four unlock level 25, 16 hour and 45 minute build time. Uh, thruster stats are looking pretty good here too. So 43 forward, 78 lift, 21 strafing, 26 down, 26 reverse. Plus pretty good roll y'all and pitch as well. So that 51, 36 and 36. Let me, uh, Get over to the main here. I just kind of wanted to see what its uh, shield is. Uh, so 50,500 uh, <clears throat> 50, on shield. Looks like we got a switch control for gravity uh, generator as well as hangar lights. Oh, wait a minute. Let me turn that on a minute. Now let's go back to nighttime. I want to see if this kicked in some more lights here or if it's... Uh, it Still can't really see the detail on the top there, but let me, uh, let me hit that switch one more time here. No, I don't think it adjusted the interior lights of the hangar. Let me turn it on again. I'm just trying to figure out what, whoop, if I hit the right button. There we go. Oh, yeah, no, it did. I, I, it did, uh, did turn on some more lights in here. Huh, that's cool. No, it's a it's a slick looking hangar too. I love the uh, love all the block work going around the side. I love how the uh, the warp uh, drive is installed in here too. Uh, sorry about the light. This is the problem I've got. Yeah, I used to like to uh, well, up until now um, view these at nighttime, um, but yeah, it's just too dark now to do that with. All right, so let's look at some more specs here. Uh, so CPU wise. Uh, totally fitting within 2.1 million CPU for Reforged Eden. Uh, done very nicely there. And let's see what else do we got going on. Uh, storage. So we've got, it looks like one uh, 320k ammo. And then uh, I believe all these are 320ks. So it looks like five, uh, five more 320ks for cargo. And then some miscellaneous boxes, fridges, and other things. So it looks like six total 320k uh Storage bays, or well, one is obviously an ammo bay, which is needed. Um, one last thing, I'm just curious about how many turrets on are on here. Stock, uh, so it looks like four missile turrets, uh, six laser turrets, four minigun turrets, and then of course the uh, long range radar. Yeah. Anyway, very nice, very nice ship. Uh, looks very, very functional. Um, as well as uh, just a cool looking design. Love this uh, love this bridge set up here too. The layout feels really nice. Um, it's got everything it needs. I like the asymmetrical uh, touches on the inside as well. Mixing it up a little bit. So it's uh, you, uh, there's a reason to explore both sides of the ship rather than uh, having a, basically a mirror image of them. So again, this is the uh, Warden RE by Dadrick. Awesome work on that one. Well, next here we've got uh, something uh, quite a bit smaller, um, and this is the LF uh, Sarissa SV by Life Force. This is a cool looking uh, uh, little little SV. Um, so Phoenix Star Starworks uh, Sarissa, if I said that correctly. 
a yeah, slick uh, kind of a, a low profile uh, SV oh I like how this is done so it's got uh, some functionality built right over here by the kind of near where the uh, the cockpit is uh, fridge and uh, let me get a light on in there and then we got a uh, oh armor locker right below there oh check that out yeah that is the armor locker too that blends in <laughs> I was like, I was starting to think, what texture is that? I would have used it if I, yeah, but no, that's an armor locker. That's cool. I mean, yeah, yeah, obviously oxygen over there as well. A couple of Gatling guns on the front here. Turn off the light again. And this side just uh, has our LCD emblem. It's like we've got a oxygen tank over on the side there. Uh, potential uh, location to add another uh, turret on the side here it looks like oh look at that it's got the red LCDs in the back kind of like a big part of the engine thruster system and uh, looks like a cargo box right there in the middle very very cool what do we got down in here Oh, upgrade room. How nice. Oh, wow. And we got some serious instructions going on in here, too. Let me get a light on. Oh, yes. I seen this on the uh, the post. In fact, I got the, uh, the post information, but the, the color codes for the alternative color schemes. Oh, and, uh, by the way, uh, before I get uh, uh, too far, um, the... Uh, the workshop post, the uh, the text and everything is very nicely done on this one as well. Um, it has two alternative color palettes that I uh, actually was gonna gonna use one of them here in a second. Um, I didn't realize this was all built into the ship as well, which is a really cool idea. Authors spent a lot of time working all this out. This is quite a lot of work to do, but this is very nicely done. Um, so all kinds of information about what to put in, or what you can put in here. Um, and do a lot of different upgrades to the ship uh, plus a video nice nice yeah it's very well done that's cool nice looking LCD for your uh, information as well yeah spend some time on this really really cool anyway here I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little something something here um, so I've got uh, I believe it was crimson charcoal color scheme over here on a text file on the side. I'm going to copy that a minute and I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to transform the color scheme on this ship. Let's get in here and we'll paste you. And there we go. So, yeah, if you don't like the, uh, the original look, you got two other uh, color schemes you can pick from here. Um, and that is cool too. Oh, yeah, and red like that. That looks great too. Another uh, really nice touch there, but you don't have to go to the uh, the actual page here, uh, the uh, Steam Post, to do that because you can uh, copy that color code information right out of the LCDs. So there's the uh, this is the one I did, crimson and charcoal, and I believe this is uh, is this a stock one here? Let's try to uh, access that a second. And yes, look at that. So internal. You can access this from inside the ship. So I'm just hitting Control C after I highlight that, and then when I go to the uh, color palette um, or bring in the uh, the color tool here, go to configure. I'll uh, make sure that's highlighted. Hold down Shift, click on this one, and hit Paste. And this would uh, looks like bring it back to its stock color. So okay, so there's a stock color, and then there is the uh, the crimson charcoal color. Yeah, really cool. What well done uh well done SV. So let's take a look at some specs here. So unlock level 10. Oh, so yeah, this isn't uh, obviously a lot of upgrade information inside it, so it's meant to soup up quite a bit beyond uh how it comes stock, but that's nice that you can get this in that low level. Um 31 minute 48 second build time hardly needs anything special uh, 10 titanium would be the uh, I guess 9 cobalt would be the rarest and that's pr almost unavoidable with SVs almost well maybe not I don't know but uh, yeah 31 minute and 48 second build time 
Uh, stat wise, 55 forward, 55 lift, 28 down, 14 strafing, 14 reverse. Huge amounts of roll, yaw, and pitch on here as well. So quite maneuverable ship with a lot of upgrade potential too, well documented. And uh, alternative color scheme. Yeah, nice work on this. You put a lot of uh, attention to detail into it. Um, a lot of extra uh, effort and work, which I definitely appreciate. And it's a great looking uh, post on this one too. Um, well laid out, looks very professional. Um, so again, this is the uh, LF uh, Sarissa SV by Life Force. A really cool looking SV. Love the, uh, love the extra options there, the alternative colors and whatnot. So next here... We've got this, uh, this big old Exmorth MK1 CV by Captain Caveman. And what a looker. This thing, uh, this thing looks uh, serious sci-fi. Um, it, is, it is cool. Um, love this. Uh, this uh, yeah, it kind of makes sense to the Exmorth. It's kind of an X-shaped pattern going on here. So the name's quite fitting as well. And that is really cool. So it has a pretty tall stance to it because it sits on these... Uh, lower like uh, thruster setups here um, pretty big thruster housings a lot of detail going on here too if you just take a look at some of the block work in, in uh, combination with the textures and texture lights and other things going on here that looks pretty nice um, kind of like that yeah just a lot of different things going on here really exploring uh, a lot of the different blocks and try to make an interesting looking design and it, and it pulls it off well too just like little extra features like little cut-ins over here like the uh the side detail here with the deco blocks and then again a different kind of uh block formation on the back side over here yeah that looks really good i like that and look at the uh these big uh I don't know, angled uh, X part of the uh, framework for the uh, to make the X uh, setup going on there. That looks uh, very cool as well. Uh, looks like we got long range radar, big old thruster right above us there. Some artillery launchers. And look at that nice looking bridge as well on here. At first, I was going to say that it's uh, this is a different color here, but I believe this is just the effects of having a light in the area, which is giving it that kind of uh, teal greenish look. Well, maybe not greenish, but it, it's a nice looking color. I like that 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 shade, the way it looks there. And we got some uh, yeah more of the thrusters on the top side. Again, love the uh, the texture lights and the uh, the fact that those thrusters are recessed in there quite a lot. Uh, that's a pretty cool look too especially wrapped with texture lights. And look at the, uh, look at what's going on in this section here. That is pretty, uh, that's pretty crazy. There's a lot of stuff going on here. It looks like there's um, potentially multiple different walkways through here, through these glass like corridors. Uh, that's, that's cool. Another thing I was noticing too, I would say that this uh, ship was more of a combat oriented ship for sure. And I was looking at all the, uh, the turrets on here and uh, how they are, uh, they looking like they have a really nice line of sight too, going along the, the, the top, bottom, and sides. You've got quite a lot of turrets, and they all have a nice clear view to the front side of the ship. And then, you have, of course, you got your artillery launchers in the mix down over there. Oh, so, yeah, that's pretty interesting here too with these uh, actual lights that are over in this section. Oh yeah, look at this. So, oh yeah, look at that. We got this is like a big thruster cavity here, a big like out outflow for the uh, thruster that's actually sitting in the uh, ship a little ways. And that's cool. Again, accented with the uh, the red lights over here, which is really giving it a really really cool look. Yeah, that's nice. Very unique, very unique creation here. Lots, loads of detail. Wow. Yeah. This one looks like it took a little while to make, I gotta say. Just 
take a look at the back here. Yeah, I like all the antenna and the uh, kind of more angled, uh, sharper looking parts out the back there. Yeah, cool looking ship. Very cool looking ship. Looks quite uh, functional in the uh, combat role so far. Let's see what else is uh, in here. So, let's get in this. Um, I'm going to try the dust thing again. Don't want to go too dark, but just dark enough to see the, try to accent the lighting. That looks really nice, doesn't it? If you just take a look at this whole assembly here on the bottom side of the ship, that's, uh, that's cool to see. Oh yeah, long range radar right there in the middle there too. All right, well let's hop in one of the sides over here. Okay, so we keep on going up here, but over here we've got, oh, we've got a fry zone. <laughs> oh, look at this. Didn't expect that. Look at the insides here. This is just, obviously there's a thruster over here and you're out of the way if you stay in the elevator, but if you walk out like I did here, this is in the thrusters are on probably not a good place to hang out in um but that looks really cool didn't expect that look at all that interior block work and the texture lights just around this uh thruster housing here interesting that looks cool but uh, i wouldn't recommend uh trying that at home going out there <laughs> so yes oh yeah look at this so we're getting up into the ship. Yeah, yeah, this has a really tall stance to it with the uh, the way they uh, uh, it's set up here. But this is this is pretty cool too. You got the almost looks like some kind of uh, metal work going on here with the uh, the circles there, uh, like some kind of I beam kind of uh, frame structure. And it still goes up, and then it goes up into an elevator, and then we get finally to a uh, floor over here that's that's pretty cool i mean that's a interesting way to get up into the ship but you had to do it with a, a design like this it's, uh, it's sitting uh, pretty high off the ground so look at this so uh, it looks like right into an engineering section uh, at least on this floor there's just a lot to look at here this looks really really slick though the uh the lighting is uh got some reds going on and some blues and uh, at least in this zone and uh, that is really really cool and I love uh, the display of that thruster over there too that is uh, that's cool and the glass over there and then the glass kind of open up where this pipe is running through and it looks like we got a uh, food processor right as you come in here in the fridge right above that and uh, look at the piping on the floor. Don't see that much. In fact, I'm not sure if I've seen that done before. I've seen I've seen this obviously used on uh, different creations, usually on like a wall or some other thing, but I haven't seen it uh, laid across a floor like this, which is pretty cool. That gives uh, a lot of extra detail. Usually floor space is a, a little bit limited. You can't do a whole lot with a uh, floor besides put on a texture, maybe some decals, but uh, that's cool. So you got like actual block work that you can walk across here on the, on the floor too. And then here it looks like we got a uh, sealed off uh, lift thruster that we've seen from the bottom there. Uh, yeah, some glass windows on the bottom here with uh, some of the pipe work below the floor as well. And then uh, access into this, uh, the big shield room here. Wow, look at that uh, intricate uh, setup on the top of that. That's cool. It's using like both different kinds of glass and using the uh, the thicker glass as more of a framework and the other glass kind of, uh, yeah, it, it all works together. Yeah, with the, with the two different kinds of glasses at once. That, that is cool. So where are we going here? Wow. So this room totally uh, changed its look and appearance here. Now we're getting into kind of this green and teal look with some red accents and texture lights. So in here, yeah, gravity generator. Oh, just a lot to see here. Just kind of looking up. Looks like there's another floor above me there too. And a uh, teleporter over here in the uh, side. Kind of looking at the shield behind that through another glass uh, glass window there. And it looks like we go through on this side as well. And the shield room. Head over this direction a minute, see what's going on here. 
Yeah, again, that, uh, yeah, that looks great. I like that. The, uh, the, the red and the blue lighting, um, tints, and yeah, there's just a lot of stuff going on. Plus, right now, since there is some outdoor light, too, it is getting some, uh, some lighting uh, peering through the, uh, the windows on the inside, which even give it more uh, of a nice lighting look, I think. Of course, I'd like to see it uh, super dark. Let me just try it once. Um, I don't think I'll, I'll keep it that way. I just want to see what it looks like at pitch, uh, pitch nighttime. Still looks good. Still looks good. You can't see a lot of uh, a lot of the intricate uh, intricacies and detail, but it still looks well done. Yeah, get a little bit more light here. I think which helps a, a lot right now. So over here. Oh wow, I thought this was actually going outside, but this is actually, or is it? No, no, that's glass above there. I didn't even see it. You can see it from the outside, but from the inside, it kind of, uh, kind of almost disappeared there. But the, so yeah, this is in interior space yet, and this goes to a uh, looks like a medium shield part here. Wow, interesting design. A lot of detail going on here. So it's down here. Oh, another, uh, uh, look at that. This certainly got some nice looking visuals here. Some, uh, really, really sci fi looking, too. It just, it's, uh, that just looks nice. Uh, a lot, a lot to do with how the lighting is, too, but the structure itself. A lot of, uh, armored glass here. A lot of, uh, these round parts, a lot of things to look through and see other things to even increase the detail more. Yeah, that's that's cool. So what do you say here? Remove uh, capacitor relay for core upgrades. Okay. And thruster access room for that main lift thruster. Let's go up another floor here. Oh, wow. Really unique. Let's uh, head back this way first. So this is like another uh, kind of one of these glass hallways that's going above where we were before. And this heads out to, oh, it looks like a generator room over here. Oh, that's cool. And yeah, using the uh, kind of like red engineering lights. Uh, but look at all the different colors here, even going on with the uh, these texture lights on the... Uh, outside here we got some yellow we got some green got some white yeah cool looking ship so let's head over this way oh yeah now we're getting above where that shield was I can recognize the uh, the housing that we've seen from the uh, the bottom side there and we got our pilot seat it looks like a armor repair directly above there yeah, it looks nice. You know, actually, I'm, I'm kind of liking this arm repair used almost like a block in some cases like this. It's a little bit more detailed. Um, kind of a neat shape, and that uh, that looks really cool sitting above that, that seat like that. And then, yeah, the shield that we've seen from the bottom side with this big uh, housing around it. That is very cool. And it looks like above here there's, uh, yeah, nice choice of uh, deco uh, console part there what do we got go oh wow look at this so this is kind of up above that green room that we seen before I didn't even realize there was uh, more places up here but uh, yeah look at the glass work going on here some uh, parts that you just don't see used much at all but that looks really cool this way got the frame framework kind of sticking out and uh, this goes to the uh, oh it looks like the uh, the first person pilot seat out on the front of the ship. So you got a uh, third person as well in back. Uh, probably a little safer. Obviously, this is uh, more of a combat oriented looking ship. Um, but that's really cool. I like this uh, glass cutout here. And it looks like you're going to have really good visibility too from the uh, this pilot seat here. And a lot of stuff going on below the floor here too. Again, like pretty much everywhere you look in this ship, there's uh, accents on the floor, there's accents. Wow, the ceiling, uh, just stuff to look at everywhere, which is really, really cool. High attention to, to detail here. And it looks like we got quick access into the uh, the first person bridge over here as well, from either side. 
Yeah, visually speaking, though, that's that's cool. And then, uh, yeah, let's get through here again. And I'm trying to figure out if I... Uh, there's more that I'm missing here. So I think we've... Yeah, we've been here before. Yep, that's kind of where we walked in at. And this would get us back down so we could get to the... Uh, out to the bottom of the ship. Let's go up this elevator all the way here. That's where we just were. And then we got a door. Okay, so it's, uh, yeah, going on the upper uh, upper thruster assembly. It looks like it uh, completely allows you access in there as well. All the way up to, there it is, the top of the ship. So, yes, another uh, another entry point there as well. That's really, really cool. Very, uh, very creative. Nice look to it. Uh, a lot of, a uh, lot of block work, a lot of texture work, a lot of, uh, a lot of glass work, and uh, interesting looking shaping. Um, a lot of block use and window use, and yeah, it's just a really, really cool looking ship there. Unique. Don't see, uh, don't, don't see much like this out on the workshop. Um, and nice solution too with with how you get in the ship from uh, having such a uh, tall stance like that. Uh, looks like it would work out pretty well. Huge amounts of detail again. Well, anyway, let's take a look at some specs here. So size class eight, uh, 19 hour and 29 minute build time. Obviously, you with a combat ship like this, it's going to be uh, using some uh, estrium and zecosium. Got some xeno in here as well. Not a huge amount of Xeno, but it does does have some Xeno. Uh, so 34, 34 strafing, uh, 30 lift, 6 down, and 34 reverse. Uh, yeah, decent roll. Eh, not, not too bad, not too bad. It's a bigger ship for sure. And again, size class 8. Uh, quite a loadout of weaponry on here uh, for... Uh, Artillery cannons as well, plus a bunch of uh, a lot of a lot of different kinds of guns on here. Lasers and positrons and missiles and miniguns and flak and cannon. Um, yeah, a lot of a lot of, a lot of different uh, weaponry on it as well. All right, one last thing. One thing I didn't necessarily see from the inside was storage. So let's uh, let's take a look at that a minute. Um, so it looks like we got a uh, two ammo controllers, both at 152k, and we got a uh, two controllers here at uh, well, one is 136, and the other is 120. And then beyond that, uh, basically some some boxes and other things like that. So um, yeah, uh, basically about a little over 300k in uh, ammo storage, and then. Uh, uh, about yeah, then you got the two controllers. They're not 320s, but uh, you get to about you know, let's see, 120,000 plus 136, so 200 and yeah, 250k roughly. Roughly, I'm a little off of my number there. I didn't actually do the math, but <laughs> again, very very cool ship. And this is again the uh, Exmorth MK1. CV by Captain Caveman. Awesome work on that. Huge amounts of detail, and uh, looks like the uh, the layout would work pretty good with the, the combat as well. To the turret positions are in uh, good locations. Get a lot of uh, uh, turrets on your target from the uh, the front end. In fact, I think every one that I see on here, unless there's some uh, purposeful uh, rear turrets. Yeah, I guess there is a couple, just to uh, get those drones off the uh, the backside there. <laughs> All right, so the next one here is uh, the Tasker Two by Artemis Rogue, and this is a uh, this is a uh, combat ship. And I was kind of read the post a little bit about uh, its capabilities in uh, the combat uh, uh, realm here, and it has uh, quite a few options. Uh, and it looks like you can configure it a little bit different for uh, what what you're using it for. But uh, I would say one of its primary focuses would be typically combat now it's got a it's got an interesting stance too because i landed it and it's only has it has this uh 
this landing gear on the front and it kind of dips the back down i didn't quite land it where the uh, back sitting on the ground but i can see in gameplay that that would be kind of a nice little feature because it's going to allow you easier access to get in the back of the ship with like hvs or something like that or even on foot um or if you're dealing with more of a high gravity uh, situation it's kind of a it's it's an interesting way to do it for sure well yeah cool looking ship again got some uh haven't been in here yet, but I've seen quite a lot of solar panels as well. So it looks like it's fully utilizing solar panels. And I believe there's quite a uh, extensive amount of upgrading that can be done to this ship. Um, and that's maybe why some areas are um, kind of kind of left open like this a little bit. And uh, yeah, big old glass uh, bridge on here. Looks like we got uh, entry ports right on the sides here. That looks really neat too. The way the uh, Armor glasses around the, uh, the 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 louver door there. Yeah, it looks cool. A nice use of armored glass. You can do a lot of stuff with the armored glass and the and the right setup there. Looks like this is running some pretty beefy thrusters as well. And I have a feeling that a lot of this stuff is uh, kind of meant for some upgrading here, too. Um, these, these ones, yeah, they don't actually have thrusters in them, at least at this moment in time. But uh, I would doubt that they intended to have some parts put in there, maybe. I don't know. I can't, I'm can't. i just speculating. I really don't know. But, yeah, we, we do have uh, some big uh, strafing thrust over there. And some. Um, this would be your uh, forward thrust. Again, pretty much all XL thrusters for the thrust on here. A lot of weaponry across the front here. And just to make sure I'm looking at the right thing here, these are advanced laser cannons. That's what I thought. Um, just wanted to make sure for some reason that they, they, I didn't think they were miners. This is definitely more of a combat ship. Nice, uh, nice color scheme as well. It's uh, yeah, yellow, blue, and uh, like the grays, uh, a couple different tones of grays, some darker areas, some lighter areas. Really cool. We got some more turrets out the back here too. Cool looking texturing on the uh, on these like thruster pods here. Yeah, very cool. So here, let me go to um, dusk. <laughs> Something like that. And here we'll zero this out. Let's go inside here and see what's going on here. A nice uh, clean hangar here. Um, looks like enough room to park a couple, uh, couple creations at least, uh, a couple of HVs or SV or whatnot. I uh, got some storage controllers in the ceiling. Obvious uh, fuel tanks behind some glass here on the sides. A couple passenger seats right in the hangar, uh, and then we got a blast door going forward. A couple doors off to the side here. Ah, secure storage cores. Ah, so yeah, we got some core upgrade rooms over here. Interesting, kind of uh, on display right over to the side, kind of in the sealed off section here. That's very cool. Nice looking LCD on this uh, big front glass window here too. All right, let's start here and well, maybe not. Let's go forward here first. Oh yeah, so we've got some, uh, this is going to be a hot zone here because you're right next to a big thruster, or uh, I'm sorry, a generator, I call it a thruster. A um, bunch of uh, small shield parts in here, two big generators, it looks like uh, maybe it's intended to add uh, another part in the middle there as well, I'm not sure on that, uh, I was just looking at the G symbol there. And another blast storm moving forward, oh yes. Looks like we got a place for a big uh, a big part here. So how many blocks is this? One, two, three, four, four. It looks like a big shield part here. If it was five, it could have been a fusion re uh, reactor, but uh, in this case it's four because that's kind of a, like a half block on the ceiling. So definitely a shield part here. And I do believe uh, looking through the description is really meant to hold quite a lot of shield parts and put in a lot of... Uh, uh, more CPU and really soup this thing up and it uh, sounds like its capabilities are are really good um, 
fighting uh, uh, high-end enemy capital ships and things like that. Uh, a couple uh, small constructors over here, armor, uh, armor locker and uh, food processor, uh, advanced constructor in the middle, looks like a definite location for another part there. Uh, shield storage up top here as well. Looks like we've got a lot more shield storage rooms. And uh, a couple more small constructors there. And this uh, loops around the way I came. That's uh, what's in here. Okay, so we got our uh, toilet. And uh, let's head this way. Okay, so we're at the top of the elevator. Let's go down a little bit. And, oh, wow. I thought I walked outside for a second, but no, this is that uh, big open uh, bridge area with a huge amount of glass there. Yeah, definitely a lot of visibility when you're flying around. Um, and it looks like a med medical bay right in here with you. Obviously, the doors to have quick access in and out of the bridge. And you're sitting right on top of a shower. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's, uh, that's interesting. It's practical. It, it is practical. I know uh, Artemis, uh, um, I believe, does quite a lot of combat and a lot of combat testing in the game and things like that and uh, tries to lay, lay these uh, ships out to be useful for those kinds of uh, uh, game, game mechanics, things like that. So very cool there. And this is back to that, uh, that one room here. Yeah, I lowered that, that blast door down. So we already seen this room. We kind of walked up through the generator section here. Yeah, let's hop in these one of these doors here and head up the elevator. Oh, yeah, okay, so we've been here already, too. Okay. Um, I'm just curious, though. It looks like there's more going on upstairs here. Um, but it looks like that's what the elevator stops at. Maybe this is kind of more of a manual... Uh, place to get to but it certainly looks like there's room for shield parts I'm gonna backtrack a little bit and see how you legitimately get in here so it looks like uh, more areas for medium shield parts in in this uh, room here and uh, I would say more medium shield parts in here as well and I bet you is the other side configured the same way no not really Kind of a little little asymmetrical there, or or okay, it kind of is, um, but it already has parts installed in the other room here. So shield storage, yeah, nicely labeled there too. And this side over here, oh yeah, there's another room here of shield storage, and that uh, there's a lot of uh, shield storage rooms in this ship. So it looks like it's meant to put in the maximum number of uh, medium shields in here, and I wouldn't doubt it's. Uh, the, the smaller shields are pretty easy to put in there. I'm just kind of going through the hole here. It looks like, you know, in a lot of these areas, too, it's kind of on the exterior a little bit of the ship. Obviously, it's holding a lot of solar panels here. Um, it's going to be nice for power options and things like that. But it um, looks like there's, there's room to put in more stuff. Um, and there was, uh, there's definitely a lot of information about upgrading this ship on the, uh, on the, on the post as well. But uh, yeah, it definitely looks like it has room to add a lot of uh, shield parts and things like that. Um, I thought there was talk, too, that you could put a fusion reactor in here as well. Um, I didn't, I don't know if I came across uh, that room. Unless this, this is the room intended for that. Did I count the blocks wrong? One, two, three, four. No, I don't think, I don't think so. But it is saying shield too, um, so it's definitely meant for a large shield part there. Anyway, very cool ship. Uh, let's take a look at some specs here and see how it comes stock at least. And again, a lot of these ships are really, really meant to upgrade. Um, but it's trying to keep the price obviously down when you first get it, um, so it can fit. So you don't have to throw in a huge amount of uh, quantum cores or something right off the gates. So uh, spec-wise here, uh, 107 uh, forward, 53 strafing, 107 lift, uh, 30 uh, down, 30 in reverse. Uh, pretty high roll, y'all, in pitch as well. All, uh, all up in the high 60s or low 70s. 17 hour and 51 minute build time. Got uh, come stock with uh, 10 positrons. 
Oh, it has drills in here, too. Oh, no. Drill module laser. Ah, I didn't even see those. So, yeah, okay. Eight, uh... Eight advanced laser cannons, which I did see, and then that, uh, there's eight uh, drill modules, too. Uh, six minigun turrets, multi-turret. So it looks like this is kind of set up to do some uh, some harvesting and some uh, some mining and things, too. So that's a nice bonus feature. I didn't even realize it, actually. Where are those, uh, where are those hiding at? The, uh, the mining drills here. Okay, so those those got to be the positrons, I think. These I thought were all laser turrets. Let me get this on here. And where are you hiding? I did say it had eight. What are these? Those are positrons. God, where are they? Did say it had eight drill modules on here. Well, I am just not seeing them. Is it maybe maybe it's a reverse thing? Maybe uh, maybe you do the mining from the backside. Uh, they are just tucked in here somewhere. All right, I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> uh, let's go into devices and take a look at our if I can find them be under harvest yeah, let's, uh, let's show one of these show on how I'm gonna activate it too just so it sticks out oh right in front of my face man yeah they're right right in front of me didn't even see it so right on the front kind of in the middle they just weren't uh, out invisible at the time so yeah mining and uh, harvesting obviously there's a multi-turret on here as well so yeah interesting interesting setup there all right so i like to figure these things out as we go here um so size class five uh yeah 17 hour and 51 minute build time we already looked at that stuff Let's take a look at the cpu it did say on uh, on there that it is uh it's running uh, 2.3 million which is still in the safe zone when you're operating this, but it needs a little bit more CPU than the uh, the 2.1 million off the gates, only by 200,000. But the ship is totally usable; it won't blow up its generators or anything with that discrepancy in CPU. And it's obviously meant to upgrade and put in a lot more uh, CPU parts and shield parts and whatnot in here. Um, so let's take a look at our storage. So we got an ammo controller at 320. Uh, looks like three ammo controllers at 320, which makes sense for the kind of ship that it is. And then a harvest controller at 320 as well, which, yeah, you would also need that with all the uh, the mining and uh, um, the multi turret that's on here. Uh, but yeah, right to the point though. So uh, for a total of 320s, three of those being ammo, one being harvest. And uh, just out of curiosity, I probably ought to look at this more often. So it looks like kind of a carbon substrate um, on the hull, trying to keep it lightweight. But I'm sure reinforced areas, uh, depending on what's what's uh, it's protecting in those locations, which would be pretty standard. And it looks like we got a lot more turret mounts on here too. There's uh, obvious places to put turrets, and I'm just seeing four just in this general area here. And uh, who knows? There's probably more elsewhere as well. I believe uh, total. Uh, I, don't quote me on this, but I believe it. It said something to do with like you can. There's like 46 total. Uh, turret positions, if I got that number right, uh, somewhere in the 40s at least, I, I do believe it said on the, uh, the post. Anyway, again, very cool ship, the Tasker II by Artemis Rogue. Um, so next here, uh, I wanted to check out this really cool looking castle over here. And this is the, uh, here, let me get my, uh, I got to adjust my little viewing screen here. This is the UT Blue Forge Keep by XL Jedi. And, uh, Again, a really cool looking uh, castle. Um, I, I like to see this stuff. It just it really mixes things up. You know, you look at all these big ships and this and that, and then all of a sudden you look at a creation that almost looks like it's for a different game entirely. Uh, but it's cool that you can do all this stuff with Imperium, even if you were like into this kind of uh, uh, creations. Which you know, I want to build one of these kind of things someday too. I really do. I've kind of been challenging to do that. I just haven't haven't done it yet uh, someday 
a really cool looking castle. Again, I like the uh, the texturing and the overall looks and layout of it. Um, kind of looking at the block work around these uh, these towers. Looks like it's defended decently too. At least you've got uh, four good uh, good viewing towers in the uh, each like tower. Or, or, I'm sorry, towers uh, turrets on each one of the towers here. Oh, and it looks like yeah, maybe I got this uh, reversed here too. Now I don't know if I uh, I probably don't have this seated into the ground perfectly, um, but it is set up to deal with that. Um, it is supported um, all over the place, so you cannot be super accurate. Like I'm not super accurate when I put it in the ground here. And actually, this would look really nice above water. Maybe I should have uh, tried to find a lake nearby or something to put this on. But uh, it, it will uh, basically it's not going to collapse if uh, if all these uh, beams are uh, going to the ground like they are so it is structurally sound just checking out the bottom here you're probably not meant to see this area here but yeah I'm seeing a lot of uh, a lot of storage there and it's kind of neat too because there's no floor in this general section obviously you can see those pillars go down quite a ways so you could actually have this a fair amount off the ground um, but uh, you got kind of like this uh, this open uh, courtyard area in the middle here with it's just it doesn't waste a lot of blocks for it because it's just whatever terrain you've got there. So I think that's that's a really cool idea too. I love seeing uh, shadows and stuff from the structure around it here. Like you can see the uh, the shadows of the railings and stuff up above here. And then you got a, a larger door coming in the middle here with some elevators on the side. Even some elevators to get up there. So again. Sorry about my spawning here. Uh, it's hard to find a lot of flat ground. Maybe I should have uh, tried to find a, a water scene here. It would have looked really good on. But um, no, that's cool. That's cool. Nice looking castle. Like the uh, the choices of textures and the color uh, that was put in here too. A few different shades of color actually. You get some reds and uh, I thought there were some yellows, but maybe uh, maybe that's just the lighting. So let's head up this elevator here. We got some uh, CPU core blocks kind of as uh, walking in here. I like the little balcony up here with that. Kind of, again, kind of reminiscent of a castle. Let's, uh, let's keep going. Oh, wow, this goes up a ways. So it looks like we're into one room here. The elevator still goes. So we got a shield over here. And then, uh, yeah, inside of here, it's all high tech. So you got the, uh, the stone work on the outside. Um, and then in here, it's uh, very technical looking, which is uh, definitely cool. So a shield too. And where, do, where are we going now here? So it's like right up to the top of this uh, this tower, but this is not the top yet, is it? Nice looking uh, look out over here around the, um, oh man, I, now I can't think of the name of that. Uh, uh, what, what do you call these in reality? Palisades, is that it? And it looks like uh, eh, we got a uh, furnace up here. And then uh, we keep on going up on this part of it at least to a, uh, looks like an observation tower here. And the main core is up here. Okay, very cool. Yeah, that's a pretty tall. It's amazing how big this uh, creation actually is. It's when I spawned it, you know, it, it looks pretty good size, but man, this thing's quite, quite, uh, quite large here. Let's just tour around here on these, uh, all these side areas. So it looks like we've got a uh, nice, good-sized landing pad over here. Um, obviously, like kind of uh, your walls and uh, ways to walk across the top of the wall. I like that. I like the uh, the stone stonework on the door here. Looks like we're uh, getting into a grow plot area here. Nice, different kind of texture going on here too. Big pillars. This is probably kind of fun to build too because it's all dealing with uh, structural integrity. You have to deal with that if you're making a base. Um, so everything's got a support. You can only uh, run blocks so far above non-supported areas before they would actually collapse. It, you do get some leeway though. It's uh, 10, 12 blocks, 14 blocks, or something like that. I, I forget. I have to look again. Looks like we have another uh, a grow plot over here. 
ways to get in on either side. A whole bunch of landing pads in this section as well as storage bays. So five, uh, five landing pads. Uh, looks like a repair bay right in the middle over here. So yeah, beyond uh, uh, being a nice looking castle, it's got some real function in here too. That's cool. And this would go out to this uh, really cool looking uh, like crossing a moat kind of thing here. That is cool. Like the uh, the block shaping around the uh, the doorway here too, and we got a sentry gun there. And look at the yeah, that's interesting. Like torches or or something like that. I mean, that's cool. Kind of a high tech looking like kind of like a torch thing, and it's uh, just that uh, particular block. It's got a light going on both sides. That way, that fits uh, perfectly nice on that uh, uh, pipe like block. Sensory gun on the inside. And then, of course, you can walk around the whole uh, section over here. Oh, it looks like we've got a uh, kind of a utility room over here. Well, the farms are nearby, too. So you've got a uh, clone chamber and O2 and a f uh, food processor and a fridge in there. Another elevator uh, going down to get up to the wall here from, from down by the uh, landing pads. Yeah. Wow, this is uh, this is pretty, this is really cool. Oh, deconstructor over in this corner. Tower. Central location here. Now yeah, this looks really cool. I like the uh, like the tarps hanging down here, made out of blocks. God, and this in this case, I almost want a block that's you know. About as uh, thick as the uh, the standard glass in the game. That would be a really cool uh, thing to do, like tarps and things out of too. But that that is cool. Oh, look at the different texturing on the ceiling there, and the, uh, the big like lights hanging down here. Nice looking uh, walkway going up here. Got an ATM there, and oh, I believe the front side. Unless I got everything backwards. With a building like this, it's not really a necessarily a front and back. Um, but this got both anyway. Yeah, I'm going to fly over to this uh, this tower here. I don't think I've been in one of these yet. So we got here, looks like uh, some... Uh, huh. Yeah, those are uh, some uh, capacitors there. Solar capacitors. And we got some generators in this section. That goes right up the top. We got... Uh, Ventilation there and kind of an observ observation room up up top here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right off the elevator here, you've got a nice uh, place to chill and uh, sit and eat some food and uh, put on some armor. <laughs> and a bathroom as well. Oh, yeah, that's cool. So every, uh, every space has some function in here. Um, here's another area I don't believe I've been to yet either. It's kind of a uh, nice looking lookout area, and we got a uh, teleporter over here. Uh, looks like a repair console as well for that repair bay that was right down over there. Yeah, really cool looking creation here. Um, let's take a look at some specs here. So uh, looks like we're uh, we're somewhere. In, I don't know base uh, C, uh, CPU very well in Reforged Eden. It's different than the uh, CVs, obviously, but it is uh, well within CPU grasp of, of what it's using. I just don't exactly know what core makeup that is or if that is the uh, the, the Core 9 Max um, on a base. I'm a little rusty on that. I haven't actually built much in bases in a while. Um, uh, yeah, I kind of did. I built that brick station. I'm trying to remember what that CPU, what the CPU on that one was. Uh, so size class eight on this, unlock level 20, 17 hour and 40 minute, uh, 41 minute build time. Got some fuel tanks, uh, basic defense on here. Um, enough for you know like drone attacks and things like that. And obviously we looked at the CPU as well within uh, Reforged Eden CPU grass. Maybe this is also uh, plays nice with vanilla too. Um, I didn't. I don't know if I've seen anything about that. Oh, Rampart, Rampart. Yes, 
Rampart 14, that's cool. Oh yeah, we got quite a few uh, circuits going on in here too. Let's see what kind of storage we got in here. So, uh, uh, deconstructor production one and 320, dock six or processing 320. Okay, so that's a fridge, main fridge, dock two, another 320. Oh, the 320 finished good. Yeah, I like uh, I like the labeling here. Mission gear 320 and seven. So it looks like we've got seven um, 320k storage bays, and they're all labeled one through seven. Um, it's weird how the game likes to like put some of these out of order. I'm not sure exactly why it does that, but it it kind of does that. Um, but yeah, very very cool. Very very cool. So again, this is the uh, UT Blue Forge Keep by XL Jedi. Again, a really cool uh, looking uh, castle type design using uh, like concrete textures and a mix of uh, all kinds of stuff. Very stylish. I like the blue uh, blue roofing on here too. Um, and that's oh okay, and that's where all the solar panels are. They're kind of incorporated into the roofing and various towers on here. All right, so the last creation I got today is, um, now I've seen uh, some of these, uh, this particular ship uh, done a few times um, on the workshop, and it's a very cool, iconic Star Wars ship, and this is the uh, uh, Venator uh, Star Destroyer, and this is by Cray on this one, um, and so it's, it's listed. Um, so I thought I would uh, take a look at one of these. Now, this is a, a very large ship, um, on, the, on the workshop description, it says it's not completely finished, um, but it's mostly finished, but there's a, a floor or so on the interior that's not um, done up yet. Um, so just, just so you know, but I, I really wanted to take a look at this. I um, thought it was pretty cool. Now, obviously, with uh, these kinds of ships, it's really hard to get the angling right because you don't have blocks that can do the necessary angles uh, for this kind of broad uh, wedge uh, design but it's it's being done as nicely as you really can do it um, you know it's trying to be as smooth as possible about it and yeah man I wish there was a, I wish there was a, some kind of block method or way of doing things where you could really pull off these angles perfectly in the game that would uh, that would look amazing but this uh, for what I've seen though this looks pretty good I mean trying to trying to capture the shape and doing it as smoothly and nicely as possible um, in the game, this is a uh, this is a very large ship, by the way. It's I believe it's somewhere in the size class 60 range. Um, yeah, that's cool. It's it's just a big big ship. Look how smooth and thin that that is looking though. Big old hangar uh, doors on the sides over here, and quite the control tower. I was really admiring all the uh, the windows and things going on in this uh, this section here. It looks really. Uh, really cool that way uh with all the just the, the the glass uh but not you know it's not like a looking like an apartment building or anything like that either it, it looks like a a big structure you know that would be on a ship like this it's just really cool big uh nice looking thruster units here too obviously trying to make them look bigger yet so it's actually running uh each one of these has four of your large thrusters in it uh to make uh like just some extra big thrusters plus some more in various other locations here too. I like this. Uh, I like this overhang block work over the the section here, and having that uh, the way it comes out there. That's just that's just cool. A lot of uh, a lot of really cool shaping here. Really trying to you know push the uh, the voxel blocks as far as you can push them with uh, big big uh, broad shapes like this. Yeah, that's cool. I like the uh, like the paint job on it too. So you got the big red going down the middle there, and this is like kind of like trying to design out to uh, yeah, be some markings on there. Wow. So it, it uh, looks like it's kind of coming stock here. As far as I can, no, I, I I take that back. I'm seeing a lot of retractable turrets. I was just gonna say I don't see uh, many stock turrets on here, but it's. Literally, I think each one of these spaces, I think you could fit a turret, and there's probably hundreds that you could stick on here, um, at least, if 
you really wanted to. It has a lot of room for turrets. But it uh, looks like the turrets it does have are retracted ones um, that you're kind of seeing in there. At least, at least the, the stock ones there. Yeah, that's cool. Look at that big uh, wedge section there, too. Yeah, I like how that uh, come, kind of comes in and goes out like that with the hanger door in the middle. Oh, it looks like we got a big double hanger door on the bottom. Plus, there's these other ones over here, too. That's interesting. Well, anyway, here, let me uh, let me go to dusk and get inside this one here a minute. I guess we're just going to come up. I, yeah, I, this was so big, I couldn't fit it on the landing pad. That's why it's, it's flying in the air yet. <laughs> so it looks like we're going to come in at least on one, uh, one big, large hangar area here. That looks really cool. Very Star Wars this. Uh, kind of, uh, you know, relatively, um, I don't know, clean. You know, big, big shapes, big open rooms. Uh, the white and black uh, combinations of, of colors. Uh, so a bunch of texture lights in places. And some red trim as well. And I, like, I love this uh, texture light going along the ceiling here too. Let me just try one more time to go real dark. See if... Uh, See if that's going to hide too much detail. Yeah, it, it kind of does. It really kind of does. Yeah, there's a lot of lights in here, too, and it still can't illuminate it very uh, super well. Again, I hope, I hope that gets overhauled a little bit there. Um, try it at this stage. Oh, it's a little bit dark yet, too. I'm I, Again, I'm having the same problem with my own ships, too. It's just like, yeah, I used to use... Um, the planets to test the lighting on the ship you know because you can adjust it between day and light uh, day and night and now it's just like now it's too dark on the planets to test the lighting anymore so i've been now going to space to uh, see what the lighting looks like so yeah massive hangar here um weighs in both uh sides and uh and the bottom and a repair bay in here as well and then Looks like we're coming up to another massive hangar over on this side. Um, elevators by each uh, landing pad area on the side, and it looks like a gigantic uh, ramp to uh, bring in like some HVs or something from the bottom side. And maybe this is an HV uh, hangar. I'm, I gotta assume it kind of looks like it's a little more, more oriented for that, and especially with having uh, ground access uh, to uh, bring up reasonably good-sized uh, HVs in. And then, wow, look at up here. And we've got like this big uh, I don't know, shipping um, supply, weapon, maintenance room, yeah, everything. I mean, this is a giant ship, so everything's going to be on a big scale here. Which, uh, yeah, a lot of room. I like how this is all done with the cargo boxes and the mezzanine up there and the elevators going to all that. Looks, uh, looks kind of like a, uh, oh, definitely a work area, like uh, bringing all the supplies and load up the, the weapons and everything else wow and this just keeps going doesn't it I didn't even I don't even I started somewhere in the middle of the ship middle bottom area so we're still going forward yet oh look at this oh that's cool so you got this big column going up through a couple decks here and it looks like this would be kind of your mess hall uh, area here a lot of uh, seating Places to uh, make the food and a bunch of food processors. I like I like how that's uh, going through the uh, the ceiling here too. Very cool. Looks like we got some elevators over there. I don't know if I'll be able to see all of this ship because it is gigantic. And I do know there are some spaces uh, uh, like this over here that are probably unfinished yet. Um, so we're going to run into some of that, but you can kind of uh, see that there's certainly a lot of uh, finished off areas as well. Oh, where am I going? I'm not even sure which way I took, but I ended up uh, going down into this other giant room over here. Wow, look at the uh, look at the walkways and scaffoldings going on here. It's probably one of the most unusual looking farm sections I've seen before. Uh, it's like it's uh, yeah set up to uh, design or uh, grow food along the sides there. I would head back down. Let's go up this staircase here. 
and some more grow plots on top. And it's an interesting arrangement on the uh, the grow plots. It'd probably look really neat once there's uh, food all grown in there and everything. Ah, very cool, very cool. So let's uh, let's head down this corridor here. We were there. This was that central room with the uh, the double ceiling here. Let's uh, catch one of these elevators. Go up another deck. So this would be overlooking that, that one room here. And it looks like uh, you can kind of overlook over one of the, uh, that big uh, like cargo room. Got up to two over here. Oh, I got some angled doors off the front. Oh, we had some angled doors on the previous deck too. Wow, okay, so we've got a whole lot of rooms over here. So it looks like a crew area. Yeah, bunk beds and whatnot. And uh, what we've got going on over here? A big bathroom, I'm thinking. Yep. Oh, yeah, lots of, lots of crew space. like the... Uh, the general look on the inside and the the mix up of uh, the colors there. So you got the dark floor, the whiter walls, and then the uh, the red accents in here. Uh, generally, uh, generally white lighting. Oh, look at this. We got like a uh, armor locker uh, weapon weapon room there for the stormtroopers. Or no, actually this this ship I don't think was uh, Imperial, was it? Um, I think this I thought this was a, a rebel ship, but. That's all off the one side here, so I imagine we've got uh, more rooms and stuff on this side. Yep. Yeah, it takes a long time to do an interior on, on a ship this size. In fact, this is bigger than any ship I've made yet, even including the uh, Leviathan, which I had a lot of help with on the interior as well. <laughs> so let's go down one floor here just to see if we got about the same thing. Okay, so yeah, a lot more crew rooms off the side over here. And this is the top floor in this section. Yeah, but not really. Let's, let's go up here. Okay, so we got, uh, I did, uh, on the post, it did say some of the upper floors did not have, uh, we're not fully done yet. Um, uh, holy smokes, look at this corridor. Wow. Look at all the rooms and places and holy smokes. Oh, this is like all crew crew areas here. Pretty deluxe too. I didn't expect the whole like hallway and then it gets into like individual rooms beyond the rooms here. Holy smokes. So this is a similar layout there. Looks that way, yep. This one's different. Or is it? No, maybe not. Wow. That is a lot of uh, a lot of crew rooms. Uh, again, it's a giant ship. Um, a ship this size would have a huge crew on it, so you can. Uh, it would make sense that you'd have th these many rooms. Oh, <laughs> not done yet! Holy smokes! Look at this! Wow! It looks like we got some on the uh, like uh, another deck above here too, with more. Uh, Work rooms on the top side there. Jeez. This is giant. <laughs> wow. I'm not sure where this is. I'm a, yeah, I would totally get lost on this one. This is a big, though. I mean, I wonder how long it actually takes to walk from one side of the ship to the other side of the ship on this one. I almost need, like, a uh, HV or S... Well, probably uh, SV if it's going to be in space. Uh, like a little tran, tran system inside the ship to get you from the front to the back. Man, I... I 
it's still going on this direction and it's like I thought I was getting to the edge of the ship over here but there is uh wow look at that big big old generator room there Here. Oh, that's uh, that, that's those little uh, doors that we seen on the bottom side. Uh, it looks like these would be for uh, no some kind of mounting of some kind of small SV. I gotta assume um, maybe like a Tie Fighter or something like that. You know, I'm not sure. <laughs> that's cool though. That's uh, interesting. Interesting look there and uh, like vertical uh, landing pads. This is the center again. <laughs> I feel like I'm walking through a, a shopping mall. <laughs> just a just a really large, large building that just yeah, okay, so we've kind of been in that room. I I remember seeing that. So let's head this way. Yeah, I mean, uh, usually when you see a lot of these really giant creations like this, too, um, you don't really see much of an interior. It's more more about building the hall. But, yeah, this one's really cool. It's got uh, a bunch of interior going on here, too. And it's, uh, like I said, it's uh, from the description, it's basically like a, it's a work in progress yet. Not everything is finished up on it. Um, wow, look at all that fuel going on there. And look how... Wow, this just drops down to this giant chamber. Uh, looks like it's kind of protected. Okay, so we're kind of on the back side of the ship right over here. See, but, but what could happen, though? If you had a weird little vent out on the outside of this, and if you shot like a... Uh, like a like a some kind of weapon in that vent, it would suck it all up and it would come down to this room and it would detonate the whole thing. And I'm just kidding. I was just trying to trying to go on the uh, the uh, movie physics um, on, <laughs> but but that was the imperial side. They uh, they blow up pretty easy. Usually uh, the bigger they are, it still only takes like one one shot in a well placed area and the whole thing would get uh, lit up. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, anyway, um, I'm gonna try to. Uh, try to head upward here I know there's a big control tower on here too holy smokes just more places over here jeez oh big medical facility over here that's cool it looks like it's set up for like yeah you could bring in a whole uh, army of injured and they all could uh, be worked on at the same time that's cool. I like the uh, I like the touch of the window out here. So, where am I? So I'm starting to get into this uh, tower section over here. I'm sure there's a lot of other areas of the ship I've uh, uh, missed, but my goodness, it's it's a giant, giant, giant ship. Okay, so I don't want to go back down. Jeez. So this is all in the bottom of the uh, the big tower on the ship. Okay, so quarantine room over there. I say that only because it's got the uh, the glass. Like, uh, well, maybe not. Maybe not. It's open on the top side. In there so looks like this is a central elevator here let's go up to five oh we got a gravity generator there like the uh, like the uh, wall set up over here with the, uh, the the big wedge blocks there that's 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 pretty cool it comes to that uh, pyramid in the middle there nice touch oh we got some pillar beams in here a lot of plants Oh, we got a VIP lounge. 
and the AI is active. VIP lounge. Is this is this the VIP lounge? Or is it up this elevator? <laughs> Jeez. I'm amazed. This thing is just, it is gigantic. Looks like we got some uh, armor repair facility over there. And, uh, yep. What we got in here? Uh, a lot of uh, control and uh, control room or computer uh, logistics area of one origin or another. Yep. Got some regular uh, terminals over here. That's cool. Where am I uh, located now in this ship? We're <laughs> getting up the tower. <laughs> it's cool that all these windows line up to the outside the way they do. I like that. This looks like, okay, this is on one of the front areas of the ship. Look how giant this thing is. Wow. Up to seven. Okay, so this is uh, under construction over here. Keeps on going up yet. And oh, looks like we got a, a place kind of on somewhere around the front of it, but we're not we're not actually up there yet. This is just another room below. There's a door here. Looks like another uh, room area over here. Oh wow, look at that. That's cool. That all opens up, revealing like a force field. Didn't expect that. This, oh, you know what? This is just one side of the tower. That, uh, that's right. This is like got. It's not a central tower, at least at. The, well, it kind of is down there, but then when you get up to the top here, there's two different sides to it. Wow. So where does this go? Another one of those. Huh. And let's go up here. This has got to be. we got to be getting to the top. Holy smokes. And, yeah, this is, uh, like, one of the uh, uh, two main bridges. I'll uh, pop over to the other side here a second and see if that looks the same, too. This is a really cool setup. I like this indentation here. Where, like, all the crew and stuff are working. And then you get your pilot seat on the top. That's uh, that's pretty cool. Nice use of texture lights across the ceiling here too. And uh, yep, basically uh, yep, we got uh, another another one on the other side here. Well, anyway, I just wanted to show that, and that is uh, that is a pretty cool um, giant ship here. Let's take a look at some uh, specs here on it. So, size class 63, uh, 51 hour and 38 minute build time. Um, it moves uh, 34 forward, uh, 7 strafing. Uh, so, yeah, this isn't going to be a big pitch yaw and roller. It's, it's, it's a big, big ship. But, yeah, it's got, uh, it's got some pretty good forward thrust on it. Lift thrust isn't half bad either for the size ship it is. Um, so, 18 MS down, 18 MS uh, lift, and 7 in reverse. It only has 500 fuel tanks, so you're probably going to run out of gas pretty soon. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. It does actually have quite a lot of uh, weapons on it. It's just so big. Man, it has 12 artillery cannons. I didn't even see them. It's so giant, you'd think yeah, these are big. I oh, know, artillery cannons. I'm thinking of turrets. No. Okay, so it does have 12 of those in there. I didn't, I didn't notice that on the way through. Um, yeah, it's going to need a lot of stuff to build it, but... Uh, it's got 40 RCS in it, too. Um, pretty interesting there. So on CPU, I don't think it really... Um, I, maybe I was supposed to spawn this in vanilla as well, and that could be, and all those numbers would would improve. I don't recall if the post said if this was for Reforged or vanilla. It might be a vanilla creation, and I wouldn't doubt that it might fit within the 10 million uh, CPU if that was the case. I didn't really see... Par um, places for extra cpu blocks but then again it's a large ship i'm probably missed areas of it i'm pretty sure i probably did 
it's just there's so it's so big i don't actually remember being in like some of his back areas here either but um i don't know i thought I'd, I'd take it take a good look at this i thought it was just really really cool i thought the uh for the kind of ship it is the shaping is is done as well as you could do it i mean it really is um you just don't have uh, that the angles are, are really considering this the size and the angles that it's doing it's doing it quite smoothly um, and uh, I just thought that was very cool this is one of those ships that's a lot of work to make and it's uh, obviously a, a, a replica as well so um, at least on the outer hall of it I don't know if there's any uh, valid information on what the insides are supposed to look like but uh, that is cool, and it definitely fits that Star Wars name, and I definitely uh, definitely wanted to check that one out. So that is it for today on the uh, the creations. Um, really cool stuff by a lot of lot of people. Um, and again, this one here is the uh, Venator Star Destroyer by Cray, which is an author I'm unfamiliar with as well. So I thought that was uh, that was really cool to check out. I didn't realize how quite how big it was when I first. Uh, when I first grabbed it and I spawned it in, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> this is, I thought it was going to be pretty big, but yeah, it's, that is, that is giant. That is a big, big ship. So anyway, y'all have yourself a great weekend. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know if, uh, if I messed up anything else. I, I messed up some things on past videos. I'm trying to correct it. I messed up a name on actually the last video I did of, of who made a ship. I tried to correct it in the video description. I apologize profusely um, that was a complete error on my part i was talking to two different people around the same time and got the authors mixed up and this uh so i apologize for that and i did, did try to fix the uh the video on that one so anyway you all have yourself a great weekend and i will talk to you later